Say, Jesus, Jesus. is the formula, the formula and the ingredient. Right. Amen. Say it again. Say, Jesus, Jesus. is the formula, the formula and the ingredient. Amen. Let's do that one more time. Jesus, Jesus. is the formula, the formula and the ingredient. And you may be seated. Hallelujah. Jesus is the formula and the ingredient. And, the ingredient. and I'm going to give you a subtopic and I'm going to call it this. You can't use a formula you don't believe in. Right. You cannot use a formula that you do not believe in. You can't really even sell nothing if you don't believe in what it is that you're selling. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So God told me to tell you this today. Jesus is the formula and Jesus is the ingredient. A formula, the term formula is commonly used in a theory of logic to mean a substantial formula, also called propositional formula. I want you to understand that an ingredient is the quality or characteristic that makes something possible. All right. Let me say it again. Ingredient. The quality or characteristic that makes something possible. Alright? Ingredients are usually found on any item you buy. Amen. If it's, especially if it is edible. Uh -huh. You also, if you're putting it on your hair, your skin, if it is being uh, put on your body or in your body in any way, you're going to find a spot on the back of that ingredient. All of your spices and seasonings, ingredients. Everything has ingredients and ingredients, amen, to make that thing work right or to make it taste right or to make it make your hair act right or to, come on, you need to know the ingredients. You also need to know the ingredients sometimes because things are allergic. Uh, they give you aller allergic reaction and you need to uh, uh, recognize Recognize what ingredient is. Is there anything in here that I can't deal with? All right, all right, all right. Right. Ingredients are very important. Amen. And that's why God is saying to let you know today that Jesus is the formula and he's the ingredient. And let me tell you something, baby. Anything you try to do and the ingredient named Jesus is not in it, it ain't going nowhere. Amen. It's not going nowhere fast. Your business, your house, your marriage, your church, your money, nothing. If Jesus is not an ingredient in it, it's not going to be happening. Somebody say glory to God. Are y'all with me so far? Because if I stop right there, I just preached. Yeah. I just preached. Yeah. You need the main. Somebody say the main. The main. The main. The main. You can't make no apple pie and you don't have no apples. What is the apples in that? It is the main. You call this an apple pie. Where is its namesake? You got the crust. You got all of the spices and stuff. You got the sugar and all of that. Where's the apples? Uh -huh. Huh? Where is the main ingredient in the life of Christians? You running around here ain't got no Jesus. What you talking about? He's the main ingredient of everything in life. Period. Point blank. Jesus. The formula and the ingredient. Amen. You can't use the formula that you don't believe in. Amen. We as cooks substitute things. You know, we look at recipes and we we try to follow them. Oh, I don't have this in my cabinet. It's one o'clock in the morning and you ain't going to try to fetch it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So you shift ingredients. You can do that with food. Right. And you can do that with hair care products and lotions. And you can do that with other things, but you cannot do that with Jesus. There is no substitute for Jesus. Lift up your hands and say, there's no substitute for Jesus. There's no in between, no go between. There is no substitute for Jesus. None whatsoever. So he's the main ingredient, he's the formula, and you need to believe in him. Amen. So now let's look at the scripture. Uh, in the book of Acts chapter 19, verse number um, 11, we went there. Somebody said they went there. They went there. And look at it again. I 
love, and I, you know, and this is like one, wow. I was going to say one chapter that I love. Come on, I say that about everything, don't 